Welcome to the 2023 Annual Dummy! And if you take a couple of letters out of that, it's the Anal Dummies. What? Annual. Anal. anal. Oh. Yeah. That's terrible. Just. Thank hey, you. welcome back to our stupid rags of Corbin. I'm terrible. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports on Patreon and follows through your Twitter account. Subscribe and hit the like button. Indeed, did what he said. And today we're doing our annual dummies. Dun, 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 the most dun, 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 prestigious dun, dun, award dun, 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 on YouTube. We tried to get Jimmy Kimmel, but he said, go away. Yes, he did. <laughs> Thank you. That's why I'm dressed up. We're going to have an applause for each winner this year. I love it. Speaking of this year, can I show you something that we got that I am really proud of? I brought no. with me. Yep. Okay. So, Andrani found this. I think this is the greatest calendar in the history of the world. You ready? Sure. A fucking 2024 calendar. Get your, Get shit, your shit together this year. So, here's here's January. This shit's going to be... And funny. down at the bottom, it has things like... Other shit to remember. Yeah. <laughs> Resolution shit was fun while it lasted. That's funny. And then every month has it's... something just brand new. Here we fucking go again. <laughs> That's great. And then to add to it, it's so like on Father's Day, it says dads are fucking awesome. But then you can have these stickers to put on your calendar as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Isn't that great? I like it. Woo! Uh, yeah, so we're doing our annual dummies. The and dummies for, are here. For you guys who are confused and they're like, oh, I thought you did your, your top 10. Uh, we, that was our yeah, favorites. We did. That was I, our favorites. I explained that even though you guys skip intros. <laughs> that was our personal I, favorite. I, this was my favorite. On my personal YouTube channel, I put up a video talking about the fact that I'm just putting my acting stuff up on yeah, there. Yeah. I'm not doing the reviews. And then, the only comment on my video was, wait, where are the reviews? <laughs> I yeah. replied back. Watch the video. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that was our <laughs> top 10, each of our personal favorites. One, right. The ones that we like the most. Right. This is treated, even though it's called The Dummies, we're treating it like it's an Oscar-style film. So it's all about artistic artistry. So you might, you will have some overlap, obviously. Of course. Uh, because of what we what we like, but uh, it, it's going to be different as well. But this is on the technical merits of what we viewed, like we do with most of our reviews. Yeah. We, have, we differentiate between... The movies that we, for example, we talk about this all the time. Grease is in my top 100 films of all time ever made. It doesn't deserve a single award. <laughs> it's just a great fun movie. I don't know about that. Uh, if you do maybe the, the maybe the score. songs, yeah, the score, the, the songs. songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could get a song for that. Um, or production design had some good production. Design it did have some good production design. And if they were giving an award for really old people playing teens. They would take the case. Especially Sonny. Yeah. Anyway, so that's he's what still, this, yeah. he still looks older than yeah, me. He does. Uh, anyway, so this is uh, that, and each category, uh, we try to come up with collaborative. We don't always agree, and we don't know each other's answers either. Right. So his his winner could be different than my winner. No, and uh, the nominees may not be. We what basically happens is we make our choices. I send Corbin my list of the ones that I think should be nominated. He makes the final decision on what the nominees are. If he leaves something out, I can call him stupid for it. But ultimately, we don't know I, what. I didn't take anything out of Rick's, but there are some categories that do have more than five nominees. And <laughs> so just know that. We limit this. We don't cover all. There's 24 categories at the Oscars, and that includes everything like documentary short, live action short. We don't cover that. We also there's there's some disciplines we talk about in our reviews that we don't feel like we are expert enough to really understand whether or not it was superior in that regard. For example, we do honorable mentions for things like makeup and hair. We do honorable mentions for costume design and editing and sound I design did add, and I did VFX. Add full categories to some of those. Things. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, but as far as we're concerned, those are the ones that yeah. we can appreciate and see and love, but we really don't have the the craftsmanship understanding to differentiate especially i can see things in editing but m my friend kenny he'll point out stuff that i i because he's an editor yeah yeah so there you go <laughs> anyways so to uh start it off here let's start off with costume design we'll start off with those yes uh mentions here and the nominees are for costume design PS2. Ooh, my. Great costumes. Great costumes. Uh, Archie's. Ooh, yeah. One of the, Look at it. One of the best parts of that entire movie. True. Was the costume design. That's designs. true. Uh, Rocky Arani, K. Prem Kahani. I, I can't 
I can't argue with that. And Berlin. I know a lot of you haven't seen Berlin, but man, the the world and the costuming in that movie is uh, impe- off the charts. Impeccable. Yep. But now we will nominate. And like I said, we're going to do three, two, one, because once again, we do not know each other's winners, and so we will find out at the exact same time as you. <laughs> so three, two, one. PS2. PS2. Yeah. Monty Rottenham couldn't be here. Yeah. Uh, to uh, accept the award. At least not now. He was here earlier. He had to leave. Yeah, he had to but leave. But he typically shows up in the morning and has toast. Yeah, that one was uh, just. Uh, I mean, I could have made an argument for actually quite a. The Archie's actually was uh, pretty high because that was yeah. that and then, then the, the, the production design of that movie. Yeah. Was by far the best Agreed. parts of that Agreed. movie. But when you see the behind the scenes and you realize what lengths they went to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the amount of costumes they had to create, it's it's off the charts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the other ones that uh, that we just have um, honorable mentions for that I didn't come up with categories, just uh, I could have, but uh, I just left them. So on, uh, honorable mention for makeup and hair, Salar. Yep. Editing, Berlin. <laughs> Sound design, Berlin. Berlin. VFX, Salar. Salar. And that one I could have given to actually quite a few. There's several films this year that had VFX, but that was one of the things I remember among many. We were really, we we found no VFX flaws yeah. in Salar. And uh, we're going to do one other category before we get to the the, the Mamba Jambas here. Yeah. Um, that is actually a, just a personal favorite that we probably should have done in the, in the top tens. But we, we just saved it for here. So this is more just our favorites, but it's our favorite watch along of the year. Yeah. Um, and we did quite a few. We did. We did quite a few this year. Um, but the nominees are for best watch along. Doctor. Ba-boom. I'll let you say this next one. Faro Chara The Danush. The Danush rom-com. Mavidan. Mm-hmm. Jaya 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 Hey. And Moonabai. We had some M- great B- watch alongs. And I actually left quite a few yeah. off of this list. We had some great watch alongs. This one's hard for me. This one's very difficult because I loved every single one. Every and there's stuff single that one. I left off that I also um, w- wanted to put on. Uh, uh, yeah, for, I get for it. Watch alongs. But uh, ugh, this is. Uh, it's a coin toss, and I feel bad because it's very difficult for me to choose. Yeah. I, I, have, I have the one, though, that I'm choosing. All right. Three, two, three. One doctor. doctor. Yeah. <laughs> if you saw that watch along, I, that was just a, a brilliant, a all, brilliant movie. And all, so fun. Yeah. All of those other ones could have taken the sp- for sure. But if you see us talk about doctor afterwards and the difficulty of taking that subject matter and making it work the way it works, that just gives a teensy little smidgen. Above. I would have a hard time. I don't know when that movie came out. I forget like maybe. I, I forget when that two, movie Two, three came. years ago? Um, I'd have a hard time guessing. not giving that the best picture. <laughs> yeah, that would be tough that year. <laughs> if that was out this year because yeah. I enjoyed it so much. And yeah. I think it was so well done as well. Yep. Uh, I'd have a hard time not giving that movie the best picture nom. Yeah. Uh, and so if, uh, also if we did this like we do the normal – because we forgot to explain that in the beginning. I apologize. Uh, we are doing this differently than we have in the years past. The years past we did everything that we watched. In right. So that's true. This would have been 94 films. I'm always um, mixed about that because even though obviously every, there's so many great performances and stuff like that, it's hard to compare like a film that we saw in, in night for a 1950s film to a, a film we saw in 2023. Yeah, it's not usually fair. So we decided to put everything in 2023 to make everything fair. Yeah. So like the visual effects are on par with everything else. Yes. The, the, it's just the writing the current is contemporary. Year. Uh, and so that's that's how we're doing that. Yeah. Except for that one. Yeah. For watch. Yeah. The watch alongs are just because we covers... upped the watch along a lot this year. Yeah. Um. So now okay. we are getting into the big Mamba Jambas here. Uh, when do you want to do our uh, lifetime achievement award? Uh, just before best picture. Best How's picture. That? Okay. Yeah. All right. Next category is stunt ensemble. <laughs> If I uh, if I if I wanted to do more editing, where I would put like clips of each one. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a lot, lot of work, work. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for something that most people don't care about. Uh, anyways, the nominees are Jigurtanda Double X, Salarm, Taylor, Leo, 
Dun. Whoa. Whoa, indeed. Heck of a categories here. It'll be interesting to see. Uh, this is a toss-up. I, I I don't have a problem picking any one of those films. I yeah. really don't. No, they, they all had really good stunt work this all year. All had great stunt work. Yeah, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Yep. Anyways, three, two, one. Salar. Salar. We haven't had a difference yet, I don't think. Right? Uh, no, not yet. We've been, on, we've been pretty much on par. Yeah. I almost picked the Archies for costume design. Just because it, I, I really enjoyed the costume. It was great they, costume design over there. But yeah, the... I, I I could also make an argument for the other ones. Any of the other ones as well, but um, there was some standout stuff that uh, it just it, it was stood out, especially with like the mass stuff. And, yeah, and it was just the the stunt work in that was yep. uh, was absolutely brilliant. Re- yep, really enjoyed uh, that movie and uh, the stunts in that movie. Indeed. So congratulations to you. Uh, Provost could not be here. Yeah, uh, we asked him to come, but he he's so shy. He said, uh, "Darlings." Uh, thank you so much, but um, no. Yeah. Very kind of him, though. Yeah. Today, and then next one, we got score. Uh, a heck of a year for scores, by the way. Uh, and this is one that uh, there are six nominees. So Because Corbin had to include one other film. Yep. Uh, the nominees are... Chigristanda, double X. Zillar. <laughs> PS2. Mm-hmm. Zillar. Pretan. Rocky Arani. Okay, Prem Kahani. Say Jailer the way you did? Jailer. Say it again? Jailer. Why do you sound like somebody? I don't know. Like an Indian. Say it. Jailer. I don't know. You sound like... Oh, I can't, can't <laughs> put my finger on it. You sound like somebody. Uh, anyways, heck of a year for scores, though, by the way. Uh, and also, I could have put, once again, the one of the best parts of it, um, Archie's. And this as well, um, the costume design and 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 uh, yeah. hair and makeup and and the the set building yeah were the best. But then the songs themselves the songs were great. They they're very catchy songs, but and, it, it just missed the. List. And this was really tough for me, for a couple of them, but one gets the edge for me. All right, three, two, one. Solar. Rocky or Ronnie K. Prem Kahani. You, you knew that was coming. It's why he included it in the nominations. You gen. You hey. think the score we to don't. Rocky Arani? That's why I put it. Yeah, was better than Solar PS2 Jigger Thunder Double X. Yes, you're insane. No one's asking you to comment on my uh, picks here. <gasps> Why'd you pick Solar? Go ahead. Because of the artistic excellence of it throughout the totality of the film and covering a myriad of different emotions that were extraordinary, sometimes complimentary, sometimes as big as it needed to be in the forefront, sometimes it was back. They it, it basically covered everything that you need to cover in a score with with deft and expertise, and it just, from start to finish, I just kept marveling at how good the score was throughout the whole film. So Lars' score was absolutely brilliant. Yeah. And Rocky Irani, Kapriam Kahani, uh, score was equally as brilliant and mm. also has been in my playlist for the entire year since I've heard it. Oh, I agree that Rocky Irani has better standalone songs. Mm-hmm. I also include the score in that, though. And we didn't have also a uh, song category either. So no, which, maybe it would have mm-hmm. changed. I don't know. Uh, but since no, because it, it differentiates song and score. But it's also included if you just include the score. The songs are part of the score. They are part of the score. Uh, I especially still just in Indian don't, cinema. I, I didn't. I wouldn't even nominate. Rocky I know you didn't. Yeah, uh, which is why I put it in there. Uh, art direction. This is another tough one that has an extra category because Corbin wants to make love to Rocky or Ronnie. Hey, no one's asking you to comment, are they? <laughs> the nominees are. Salarm. PS2. Berlin. The Arches. Jigger Thunder Double X. Rocky or Money. Yeah, this was actually a very, very tough. Um, yeah, tough this category. is this is really, really, really difficult because they're all excellent for different reasons. Mm-hmm. Um. And you're so you're crazy if you don't think Rocky Arane's art direction was absolutely. I think brilliant. it was wonderful. I don't. I just. I don't think it's. You don't. You're an idiot. That's what. Uh, anyways, three. Hold on. This Sorry. is really, 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 really difficult. There's about. Honestly, I could give it to actually every single one of these. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> I'm, I'm second guessing my decision right now. No, <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm okay with my decision. I just feel badly for a couple of them that are just so extraordinary. But I don't. I, I I'm confident with my choice. Okay. Uh, three, two, one. So the Archies. I, yeah. The Archies. I'm just glad you didn't say Rocky or Ronnie. Oh, I could have. I could have. No one's asking you to give your opinion on my pick, Rick. Uh, the yeah, the Archies. The, even though the movie was a letdown. Yeah. That part of it was not. And we talked about it in the in the review. And the reason I, I could have given it to Solar, absolutely, is just because it was actually similar to the art direction in KGF2. And so I'd seen that style before. Um, and so that was the one tick on that one that it had. Okay. Uh, I have no issue yeah. with you giving it yeah. to uh, Solar. But that's the one. And the Archies, I was like, this is one of the best production design. Like, it, the yeah. world building they did in that movie, even though the film itself was... A letdown. The, the the set design uh, and the art direction of it was was great. Was great it, for me. The two other than Solar that were the most difficult not to choose and PS2, make Solar yeah. was PS2 and Berlin. Berlin, great. Because any anything that's small, art direction, makeup, production design, the limited budget. Yeah, yeah, the 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 the, the, the minute details of smallness are. Are so incredible. So, but I just was. Yeah, I was repeatedly blown away at how good art direction was it. in Solar. I get it, man. It's uh, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, uh, cinematography. The nominees are Solar, PS2, Vidutali Part One, Berlin, Maviran. Hmm. This is a this is a good category. It's a very good category. Very good category. And there's one film. In, well, I'll talk about it after we Please. make our make our choice. A Tulugu, a Tamil, a Tamil, a Hindi, a Tamil. Uh, so three Tamils, one Telugu, and then a Hindi film that most people have not seen currently, uh, and probably won't see because it'll be a small, small thing, sadly. But you ready? I think so. Three, two, one. Solar. Part. <laughs> yeah. That's they, the one. They, that cinematographer, just the opening the shot. The opening sequence. I get that it. That is so difficult. And then I the rest it. of the film, with also the small budget, obviously Solar had a massive budget. And so you'd expect, obviously. You picked Solar, right? I did. Okay, I wasn't listening I when you were Solar. talking. I don't think I put the uh, push the button here. <laughs> uh, that... that uh, the, 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 I can't. It's yeah, okay. Vidutali, Vidutali, part one. Part one. The, the smallness of it, but also the grandness of a, some of it, even. Yeah. Um, and even though, obviously, with cinematography, a lot of times you get those big acts for like a Salar and, and, and that stuff. And that stuff is impressive and it's deserving. But um, that, that that really struck me about that film. Yeah, I, I, I can't I, I can't argue with that, especially yeah. the opening sequence makes it really difficult not mm -hmm. to pick it. The other ones as well. Guys, if you've noticed, Berlin is getting repeatedly nominated. Absolutely. We were we were so impressed with that film on pretty much every level. Do yourself a favor when you're able to, to see it. I, Please go I see can't it. imagine you you're not gonna love it. Yeah. Um uh next category is supporting actress. <laughs> I don't know why. And this was a uh, difficult category. Yeah. Uh, at least for this year in terms of the supporting. And there was some well, that I could Actress and supporting actress. It yeah. was, was tough to. Which ones do you put where? Right. And, and, and different kind of it stuff. It was like tough. That. Uh, it's a tough year for that one. But the nominees are Taboo in Kuti. I think it's Kuti. Is it Kuti? You're right. It is. Kuti. It's Kuti. Yeah. Tilatama Shom, Less Stories 2. Mm. Shriya Reddy in Solar. Mm. Smita Tambe in Joram, mm. and S. Afia Tasnim, who played Pawnee in Chita. That's a good one. <laughs> I saw you look down. I thought you were going to press a button. No, I was looking for. I was looking for the button. Yeah. And uh, you ready? I am ready. The winner is three, two, one. Smita Tambe Shome. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Also, hold on. No offense Hold to on. our dost. 
dosed. Yeah, no, no offense to our dosed from me for not selecting you. I mean, you're a nominee. Uh, you just, if you saw my review of Joram, you know how yeah. I felt about Smita. She was great. Um, I, uh, I, I could have. That was the second one that I would have that I would have picked out of. These, I have no problem with these Til nominees. Tilatama. If this was the Oscars and it went to Tilatama, I'd be disappointed for Smita, but I would not be. I would be very happy for Tilatama. Um, thing. That's awesome. It is impressive that uh, Sh Shmita, um did so much with so little. Exactly. Um, obviously, she made such an impact with actually so little dialogue and, and that kind of stuff. So she did a phenomenal job. Yep. But and my uh, other what uh, Teletama did in the Lust Stories, which is the best part of Lust Stories too. Yeah. All all all, the, all of those performances were just really worthy. It wasn't one of those years where you had to. You know, you're you're just plugging something in to just plug it in, yeah. which we're not going to do anyway. But, um, yeah, there that was go. good. And if you haven't seen those performances, please do. Do now, supporting actor, heavyweight category right here. Heavy oh yeah, category. there's a lot going on here. And the nominees are Rahul Bose, Berlin. Oh, hold on, Dost. <laughs> Ishwak Singh, Dost, Berlin. <laughs> Vinayakan, Jailer, Joju George, Irata, and guess what? Yes, Bobby Dole for Animal. Bobby fucking Dole. Animal made it into our dummies. What? What? <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, no, if you saw spoiler review, alert, it's the only time it makes it. <laughs> <laughs> Not picture? <laughs> but if you saw the review, you know we loved some Bobby fucking dull yeah um this one's it's the heavyweight uh, category this right is now. a very tough category this is one of those if this was a nominating year for the oscars and one of them wins i couldn't argue it would be equally wonderful to see any of these people i have a very particular reason for my choice and then i'll tell you my very very close second this so is, this is this was a very difficult one. I yeah. could have made an argument for every, every one of them. Single every one. one of them is worthy and memorable. If I won't you, forget them. If you haven't seen any of these, um, obviously Bobby Dole, the, the the one the movie that you don't have to see the most at least in yeah, our eyes, is Animal. Sure. But to see Bobby Dole's performance, uh, maybe look it up on YouTube or something because it is fucking it's brilliant. stand out. <laughs> it's stand out. Um, but oh, this is so tough. It is. This is so tough. But I'm I'm comfortable with my choice. Three, hold on. Three, two, one. Ishwak Singh, Bobby Dole. I knew you were gonna choose Bobby Dole. It, it, okay, here's the reason. I, I have no issues with what you said. I actually, my second one would have been Rahul Bowles. That was that was actually yeah. my, my second one. It, uh, that was my second one. Was um, both of those because the but the impact in this and how much I loved his performance and how much I didn't like the film and the impact he made on me like. If I'm like, oh, the performance that like, I can think about that I was like, oh, love, love to play. I think about it all the time and how mad I was that I didn't get more of him was Bobby Dole's uh, performance. But I could have made an argument for Rahul Bose, Ishwak, and yeah, all, and all of them. Uh, yeah, for me, Ishwak's the, how much could go wrong. Sorry. Um, the, yeah, the, the how much could go wrong, the work in sign language that had to be done. Uh, brilliant. The intimacy of all of the scenes being just unforgiving close-up over the shoulder shots that could have easily been a play oh yeah so i great. just it was the same with rahul bose he 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 was this could have been any of them but for me ishwak absolutely was the one yeah he was can't argue with it yeah. at all um next one is actress in a leading role that's right and uh this was is tough because there's some that was like we debaters like is that a supporting is that a leading? yeah so um but that's how the oscars goes too if they don't think they can win in a leading they'll oftentimes put even though you're like wasn't she leading they'll put her yeah in, they'll put them in supporting and yeah it happens uh but the nominees are ashwari rai bakchan for ps2 mm, wow karina kapoor for johnny john Pooh! Namisha Sajayan mm. in Cheetah. Mm. Bhumi Pednakar. Thank Ooh. you for coming. And Sahasra Shri in Cheetah. So one of those was the little girl. The other one was the woman. Yes. Please and go see all these movies. Please do go see those. Um, and oh, the winner is three, two, one. Ashwarya Rai Bakchan. Yeah, 
I'll let the uh, I'll let the audience applaud here. Yeah, he deserves it. Yeah, I I don't I can't actually remember if she won last year as well for PS one for PS one. She might have. She may have. I'd have to go back and look because I don't remember. I don't remember. Yeah, equally as standout, if even not even more, better, even especially more, especially with a certain scene that you know we we loved so much. Uh, she was the standout actress performance. Who was the, who was the, I have a number two. Who was your second behind her that if she wasn't in the, in the race, you would have selected as your number two. Karina Kapoor. That was me too. Yeah, yeah. For many of the same reasons, I love seeing these women who have left the young leading lady and are now in just the meat house of mature, womanly leading lady and are carrying themselves on screen with this depth and this maturity and this gravitas and are aging just beautifully. And I don't mean that they're hiding their age. I mean the opposite. Their age is, is showing in the characters that they play. It's, I just, I loved both. I could have easily chosen, chosen, chosen Karina Kapoor. But I won't ever forget that scene in PS2 between Ashwari and Vikram. Absolutely. That, that, that just, and the way Ashwarya continued to carry that regality from the first one into the second one. She Absolutely. just, it was legendary. Absolutely. Next category is actor in Another a leading role. Tough category. Um, and this is one that has six, by the way. Uh, the nominees are Mamudi, Nanpakal Naratu Mayakam. That's the L LPJ. LJP. LJP, sorry. Oh, yeah, LJP, yeah, yeah. I'm having a moment. Uh, Prabhas mm. in Salar. Mm -hmm. Manoj Bajpayee in Joram. Vikram. Vikram! In PS2. AK. Oh, sorry. Yeah. We should have done Manoj. Dose. We missed it on Dose. Manoj as Dose. well. There you go. Dose. Thank you. Dose. <laughs> uh, AK for Berlin. And then Rakshit Shetty for Side A. So, yeah, I can't pronounce the the whole thing so yeah i just put side i apologize yeah. um so oh god what a year this is an insanely difficult 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 one yeah but it's... i've got i've got i i've known and this is i'm okay with my choice three two one mamudi Vikram, ps2 yeah. he was that was the other one yeah uh and i almost picked him and i have no issues I have no issues with uh, you picking Mahmoudi at all because he, yeah. he was almost my pick as well. Vikram, um, I think it's just that performance specifically really opened our eyes, yeah. obviously, to him. And it was one of the standout scenes of the year in terms of performances. Obviously, he was in the whole thing. And he was brilliant in the whole thing. Yeah. But there was one scene in particular with Ashwarya. Yep. Uh, that, uh, man. Yeah. It, it's still ingrained. Yep. Agreed. I, I just... Any number of these. And again, if you haven't seen the films that we're mentioning through here, obviously, these are all films we loved. Except for Animal. <laughs> but what, do yourself a favor and watch watch the performances. Yeah. And, uh, it, it's just it's And I know awesome. there, there are some that um, in Mamoudi's film this past year... Um, that we didn't see because it didn't. We didn't get a release here, yeah. and it's still not out. Right. Um, so I don't think it's on streaming. But the the one with the case, yeah, uh, and the husband and the right, the, the wife thing. That maybe that the trailer was that, that I've sitting heard at the table. Brilliant. Yeah. Stuff about. Yeah. Um, and so maybe our our stuff would have changed just like last year's after we saw all, all those Molly Ellum films. Yeah. That would have completely changed the dummies and our our favorites of the year. But uh, this is what we have so far. So, but yeah, those no issues. Yep. Director. Director. This one's really hard. That's what she said. <laughs> this one, this one was, this one was possibly my the most difficult category for me to make a decision on. Yeah. The nominees are LJP, Dost, Prashant Neil for Solar, Madone Ashwin, Maviran, Mani Ratnam for PS2, and Etul Sabarwal. For Berlin, dosed. <laughs> yeah, uh, this one was really, really, really freaking hard to pick a winner in. Yeah, yeah. I have a winner though. I do too, and I'm I'm comfortable with my choice. Three, two, one. LJP. LJP.
Take your applause, sir. Hold on. Dosed. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. What what needs to be said about LGP that hasn't already been said? Yeah. Also, he just continues it, to be who he is. Um, his, his new film, the one with yeah. Mohanal, uh -huh. has like just over a two-hour runtime. For for like this epic, like <laughs> like normally that'd be like a three-hour movie. Now he's yeah. he is and continues to prove and and he catapulted into the world's mind with Jolly Katsu. Mm -hmm. Um, he's one of the greatest living directors easily of our, uh, of our, j just right now, uh, you name the greatest directors on the planet. Yeah. He's on there. He's on there easily. Yeah. No, no issues there. And it was tough. It was because the scope of work for Solar and PS2, yeah. the smallness of Berlin mm -hmm. and Maviran. the what? uniqueness and the just pure enjoyability as a direct result of Maviran's direction. Absolutely brilliant. So they're all all wonderful. Oh, right. our uh, our lifetime achievement. So in in years past, the very first lifetime achievement award we ever gave to was to the late great, never to be forgotten, arguably the greatest of all time. The goat, Irfan Khan. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we also did. I'm not looking at the list, but I know we also did. I don't have it. Taboo. Yes. And. There was one other one. Big B? I, I want to say it was Big B. If it's not, we need to do him soon. Oh, no, no. This makes sense. It was Satyajit Rai. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. It was 100. So for this year, our Lifetime Achievement Award, especially in light of a particular film that was released because he's still going strong, is Rajnikan. Still going strong. How many years in the industry has he had? Four. Believe it or not, it might be five. <laughs> might be five. I might, my math might be mathing wrong. Um, it's sixty. Yeah, some some ridiculous. Something like something that. Some ridiculous. And still going strong. Still making the, some of the best. Jailer's one of the best films of the year. Yeah, it's uh, brilliant. He's a legend. Yeah, he is. And as I say all the time, best wigs in the business. Uh, and our final category is best picture. picture. The greatest film of twenty twenty three in India. <laughs> uh, this is, and this is once again these our favorites are different than the best um, obviously some will overlap correct um, but that's this we're treating this like it's the Oscars so artistic excellence yeah it's artistic and, excellence the, the films the films that should be put in a time capsule for people to see for a, a billion reasons and a half technical merit the profundity of the message the importance of the message the level of artistry uh, it's just that. So. And uh, Rick actually only gave me five for this, and I added on some. I didn't add Rocky Rani, even though I, I wanted to. I didn't. Just know it's an honorable mention for <laughs> me. For him. And uh, you know it was his personal favorite from the top ten. Just know it was an honorable mention yes. for Corbin. Yes. Uh, but but I, I appreciate that you didn't include it. But I want to. I know. Just know that. I know. So go. And uh, we, we've we expanded it, obviously, because the Oscars have a ten picture, which we think is Considering the number of films and great films, 10 is the right number to have for Easily. the Oscars. So, uh, our list, in no particular order here, we have uh, Nanpako Naratu Mayakim. It's the uh, LJP. LJP film. Solar, Ma Virin. There's not a lot of surprises here if you've been listening to the other categories. PS2, Berlin, Chita, Jorum, and Vidutali Part 1. Yeah. Not a surprise if you've been listening to any of those categories. All of those are brilliant. Yeah. But. And I, I got to say, I am very shocked. A year ago right now, if you had told me that in the dummies, we wouldn't have a single Shah Rukh Khan thing from the three films that were coming out as part of the dummies. I, I'm i really surprised that of that we saw a year with three SRK films and there wasn't Anything about his films that we thought was meritorious, well, I, other than say some stunt work and some visual effects. I could have put um, Vicky in supporting, but there was right. just other really good ones that he he missed out. Right, but I could have put him. He I, crossed I, my mind. I could have. Uh, I, I that would be the one thing. But yeah, yeah, um, it, was, it was just surprising. And there's uh, Malayalam, Telugu, mm -hmm. Tamil, Tamil, Hindi. Hindi, Tamil, Hindi, Tamil. Yeah, there's only, t only two two, Hindi. two Hindis. Two Hindis. Yep. And the winner is three, two, one. Nanpakal Narajkal Maya. Yeah. 
It, it was just like, even though there's so many brilliant ones, it was actually very easy for me. It was. You know what was interesting? It, it, it didn't ever really come close, but the one that shot higher than I would have ever imagined that if we didn't have this in the category, if, if his film had been last year, all the other nominees, for me, it would have been Solar. And that's shocking to me. That, that would have won your last was year. that good. No, if 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 Nanpako Naratu Mayakam was not in the list, uh. and I had to choose another film that I think was the best film of the year, I would have chosen. I actually would have chosen. Painfully not choosing Berlin, I would have chosen Solar. Wow. Yeah, that's insane. That's how much I think that movie is spectacular. That's, but that's nothing, it, nothing that's touched. Not, that was not. That would not have been my pick. No, you would have picked Rocky or Ronnie. No. <laughs> So I do think it should have been included. Yeah, but no, that uh, Mavidan you could have picked uh, Berlin, uh, the the this last one right here. Yeah, Vidutale part, part one, part one as well, and also another one that I I wanted to include. The reason I didn't include these two is because since we were kind of collaborative, and I liked it and Rick didn't, so part A is one that I would have included into the uh, yeah. best picture and uh, Rocky or Ronnie. Neither would have been my my pick. But those are two that I, I would have included. But nothing really touched Nana in terms of uh, artistic artistry and how much I enjoyed it. We said it all year. Um, we thought that should have been India's submission to the Oscars. Still do. Always will. Yeah. I don't know if it would have gotten because obviously. It, no, Jolly Katu didn't get get picked. Um, but it, 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 it had did a shot. A lot of roots in um, Tamil and Malayalam uh, culture and language and stuff that we didn't get. But it would have had a much better shot. Yeah, and, uh, if if you're wondering about what it is that the Oscars looks for, um, just look at the films that have come out of France, Italy, and Spain in the past 50 years. Because nobody has more nominations. Basically, they are the ones. Everybody else has maybe one or two nominations. Well, Korea. A, a few. Not, not compared to... Well, they've actually won picture, though. Not compared to Spain... France and Italy. They are unless off include, the charts. Unless you include wins. In fact, because Parasite won. It did, but that's the only time Korea's ever won an Oscar. Um but where did I put it? I had a list. I don't I don't think Spain or maybe it was in my to do list there. I don't think Spain or are you talking foreign category? Um are you talking Yeah, I'm talking in, international film. Okay. Yeah, I'm talking I'm talking the international films. Uh I think I put it in there. I think I put it in the intro. Um yeah. Uh, oh, no. That's not there. It doesn't matter, but just look that up because I, yeah. I have. Anyways, uh, that is our That's it. winner of the year. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and heck of a year. I'm so looking forward to this next year because I think there's going to be a lot of great content coming out. And also, I think it's going to be the year, uh, hopefully, the year of content-oriented films. The beginning certainly feels that way. Yeah. With Merry Christmas and Captain Miller. Hopefully, yes. obviously, we're assuming. And then, obviously, um, LJP's film. Yeah. Um, and Malayalam. And, and then uh, Vikram's film. Yeah, you also, you may be wondering, there have been years in the past where we've talked about our favorite series. Yes. We just didn't watch enough to... We saw three or four. Put it into... Th that category we really saw three or four um i'm trying to remember from this particular year obviously guns and gulabs guns and gulabs the one the um the film industry oh yeah jubilee jubilee and farsi farsi there was another one there was was there not i think we no uh railway man i guess that counts it's a, it's limited, a limited series. series that counts. Real women what counts been, as a limited what series. What would have been your favorite of those? Um, the one I would say is my takeaway of the the one I enjoyed the most. It it would probably go to Guns and Gulabs. Yeah, it'd be that or Farsi. Yeah, that that was the other one for me. Yeah. Was Farsi, uh, but gun, Guns and Gulabs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, does she talk about like art direction? Jubilee. Uh, Jubilee's art direction and the performances were yeah, were great. Stand out. It just had some inconsistency. Like the first episode was just off the chart spectacular and then it kind of had a lull. So it, it 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 still was a very enjoyable series and it's worth watching for sure. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so that is it. Let us yep. know why we're idiots, why yep. you like it, what yep. your picks would have been for each. Why Animal is the greatest film ever made. 
Because it made the most money, that's why. That's it. Uh, <laughs> anyway. We, you want to do that? Let's do a list of the best films of the year based on box office. Yeah. If We're Animal, never doing if that. If Animal was all about Bobby Dole, it'd be the winner. For sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't. He's the I, only thing I liked about the film. That was, uh, yeah. Absolutely. Anyways, <laughs> let us know uh, what you would have picked for each category down below.